Um, when I was growing up, reading was a very hard subject for me. My two sisters could read, my mom and my dad read all the time, my classmates read, and I could read, but I really had to try at it. And anything that I had to try that hard on, I didn't really understand why I should be doing it so much. Come into high school and we start taking all these standardized tests like the ACT. And that's four hours of sitting down and reading and reading questions and having to be able to comprehend all of that. And I, I couldn't do it for four hours. Like reading in front of a class, I always dreaded doing that because I would stumble over words, I would read slower than all the other kids. And now if a teacher asks me to read or um, go through a piece of music in front of a class, I don't hesitate nearly as much. I can just, I don't feel self-conscious about myself. The big thing that was affected was my music ability because a lot of choral music is sight reading. So I had to be able to look at a piece of music, read the notes, read the words, and know what's going on in this piece of music. When my vision got all blurry, it was hard to focus on both the notes and the words at the same time. And now I can look at a piece of music. I know what the, vo what the vocal parts are doing. I know what the words are. It's a lot easier. I just thought that um, people could put up with the pain of reading a lot more than I could. I wasn't sure why I was so bad at it. I eventually ended up coming to Dr. Letterer and I found out that it wasn't my fault that I was bad at reading. It was my eyes not working together and wanting to focus on the same page. And after all that happened, it just was night and day, my reading ability. When I first came in to find out what was wrong with my eyes, I really didn't know if he was going to be able to do anything just because I've been to eye doctors in multiple states because I, I, I was born and grew up on the East Coast, so I went to doctors out there just to get glasses, went to doctors here, and I didn't know that Dr. Letter was more than just getting you glasses. So when he, we did all these tests that I've never seen before, and when he told me that there was actually something that was wrong with my eyes other than um, that they were blurry, then that was it was pretty interesting that like, there is something that could be done other than glasses to help my reading. Because the glasses pretty much just help with the seeing far things away, but the eye therapy helps help me read. My grades have improved. I've been able to read if I have to. This last semester in college was my best academic semester that I can remember, getting all A's and B's. Honestly, I don't think that has happened in my schooling career. I've got more self-confidence. It's raised my, my grades, my ability to do homework. I started out not being able to read, and through Dr. Letterer's help, I've been able to grow in confidence in my reading. I've been able to finish homework and basically turn my school life around, which in turn it may in the future turn my life around to what, like from what it could have been. I can't remember how you got to me in the first place. Um, my mom went out to, uh, it was either Colorado or California, I was talking to one of our family members who deals with um, trauma and like eye related stuff and she started talking about eye therapy and I can't remember if she referred us to you or we looked you up ourselves, but I know that after like what ha what it's what you've done to me and helped me, we've talked to other family members, other friends about you who have been who have had like eye problems or thought they had um, like ADD or stuff like that, and it's helped them for sure. So what? So it's interesting. Tell me about what happened when you were in college because things started unwinding once we got rid of the problem. Um. Well, just this last semester was my best academic semester that I can honestly remember. Mm, this I got, is for me, I didn't hear this go yeah, yet. I got all A's and B's this semester and I can't remember in college not getting, or like getting at least a C. I remember in high school getting C's and I, I don't even remember if I had ever been an A and B student until now. So we made college easier in high school? Oh yeah. <laughs> <Easily>. <laughs> Well, when you had a lot of reading to do and you were breaking up visually, and it, did you do it? 
I, I tried to do it, but most of the time I couldn't end up doing it, so I had to just start scanning books and just not getting all the information that I could or asking other people, but now I can read through a book. If, like, if I have to read through a book, I can do it. The, the impact of what you thought it was, you know, that's, that always strikes me as so interesting. Struggling, and then mm -hmm. it's worse when you have siblings or parents that are big readers. Oh yeah, that's like all my dad and my mom do. So everyone was a big reader? Yeah. So you were on the outside looking in on all that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just didn't understand why I didn't like reading. And you noticed that it's not breaking down since we treated it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the luxury. Once you got the coordination, it's there. Every time we come back, it's it's right at the same level. R exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you're not doing therapy at home. Just reading normally. Yeah, you're just doing yeah. the reading, but you're not doing therapy with the veteran. No. I, I, I think what was interesting is you become more efficient, so you actually get more work done in less time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do better with less work, which is really interesting. Kids never believe me when I first say that. Yeah. I always try to tell them, I say, look, if you don't have more time to fool around and after the first three, four months of therapy, I'll eat your file. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to work. Otherwise, I want yeah. to look at me like, hmm, I wonder how, I thought he was going to fail on purpose just to see if I would eat the file, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know but